Hey, I'm Dennis Whitelaw. I'm the uh, president of the Convention Bureau of Costa Rica. In addition, I'm also the area general manager for Marriott Hotels in Costa Rica. Um, I've been in Costa Rica for about 13 years, and uh, it's an incredible destination. Great. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about that today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, well, let's talk about Costa Rica. What do you think that make, there is that makes it so unique? Well, I'm going to even tell you what our customers think that come. Uh, number one, it's, it's a 13.5-day stay for the average vacationer in Costa Rica, which is great. Um, we have incredible variety of adventure. We have incredible uh, uh, variety of uh, things to see in Costa Rica. We have the Caribbean Pacific and the Pacific Ocean. So we have two different sides of the country that have two different beach experiences, which is great. Um, tourism brings in about 3.2 million people to Costa Rica annually. Um, I'm very happy to say that 2023 uh, uh, has produced more tourists than what we had in 2019. Uh, so the great news is Costa Rica has recovered. Um, so we really are, are experiencing quite a bit of that. And the other segment that's really been important, and being the Convention Bureau that we, we work on that, is the meeting, incentive, and Congress and event segment. Uh, we see demand exceeding the demand of 19. So that's been really super. So we've been able to capitalize on that, and consequently Costa Rica is, is booming in 2023 and, and the first quarter and second quarter of 2024. That's all great figures. Do you expect that to continue? Yes, we do expect it to continue on the books for my hotels that we have 20 of Marriott's in there. Um, we're looking at super demand on the second, third, and fourth quarter for 2024 and going into 2025. So when I'm speaking to the president, CEOs of the companies that are making those decisions for those events and incentive programs, it, they're really excited about having to do that. And our our ICT, which is the Board of Tourism of Costa Rica, has done a spectacular job, along with the PR firm as well as our advertising company, to really get our name worldwide renowned. Uh, we've won several awards in the past year, which we're really proud of, and we really expect that that will continue to help the demand. What's great is take a taxi in London and you, you, you see the Costa Rica on the side of the door. It's pretty neat. Um, hopefully motivating those British people to get out of that rain and come on down to Costa Rica. Yeah, I'm very tempted. Um, <laughs> so talking about promotion, we're here at ITB, one of the biggest trade shows in the world, I believe. Um, why are events such as this important to promoting your destination? Well, fairs are imperative. It gets an opportunity for you to present your destination. And as you can see here in this booth, we have almost 40 representatives of the businesses in the tourism sector of Costa Rica. So. One, it's a one-stop shop place that you can come and see, what, 190 countries, uh, probably thousands and thousands of businesses. You know, there's 27 modules with a variety of, of, of uh, uh, shows and, and, and people presenting their product. Um, so it's a re real important part. It is the largest individual leisure show in the world. So I think it's imperative that, you know, our brand is here presenting itself to the, to the buyers and um, hopefully you'll get some local people attending so we can motivate them to get out of Germany as well. And amidst all this growth, uh, is sustainability part of your plan? Yeah, something really spectacular. We know that Costa Rica is, has been benchmarked and marked as one of the countries in the path going forward with sustainability. 30% of the country is protected. Uh, many of the animals and species are protected. Um, there's some great beach cleanup going on and some of the ocean treatments that are going on there has been spectacular. But the ICT, the Board of Tourism, has created a new program and has worked on modifying and upgrading that sustainability program for certifying businesses that they are sustainable. So yeah, we see that very often in some of the buyers for leisure traveler, but we definitely see that growing in the mice market, in the meetings, incentive, and, and congress and event business that people are looking and expecting that you to, to do that. Example, two of my hotels produce a QR that shows what we accomplished in 23 and what we're doing in 24. So it's a definitely a process that's really taking you know, foot and growing by leaps and bounds every year. Well, that's very encouraging. And um, are there any other new market sectors or, or markets you're looking to reach out to here? Um, basically, Europe to us is really important and what we've really been able to see and thanks to the Board of Tourism working with the airlines 
uh, our seats have grown, which is phenomenal. No, we have flights from Europe in Zurich. We have London. We have Paris. We have Frankfurt. We have Madrid. Um, I what I'm really hoping and expecting is that we get the opportunity to further our relationships with countries like Italy and Portugal. Uh, and I know the ICT is having negotiations with them so that we can really get that market as well. So those are two, some of the two in Europe. Um, Asia, we still have not yet get the, got that chance to get them from Asia, but it's primarily Europe, Canada, and the U.S. And we're seeing those flight and seats grow uh, uh, by, by quite a considerable number. Great. And uh, do you have any other key messages for our audience here at ITB and beyond? If you want to spend two weeks, come on down to Costa Rica is the expression that we use, which is called Puro Vida. Puro Vida means pure life. You'll find everybody saying that to you there. So the Costa Rican people have love in their hearts, and they look to provide the hospitality that will make your experience enjoyable. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Hey, my pleasure.